You remain Loki, Loki. I will take that as a compliment. That you do is why you remain Loki. Yes, do. I remain Loki. We have slipped the noose of Ragnarok. For the first time in history, the Asgardians think themselves free from the whip of destiny. We are free, yet Asgard remains. Even here on Midgard's lowly soil, we are as we are. Boulder is good, Thor is noble, and Loki is Loki. Despite all my chaos, all my art, we are as trapped as ever. It needs to be burned clean, all of it. You pull this off, you are bulletproof, untouchable. You pull this off, you're bulletproof. Untouchable. It will take the leaders of the free world decades to even come to grips with what you've accomplished. And all the mistakes from your past, all that went before, will be a footnote to your story in the history books. You do this, and this is what you'll be remembered for. You're right. I know you're right. The easy part. Brothers! Are you here? I Loki, but why? When Baldur's Blade took us, we expected our place in Hell. Why are we still here? I suppose because Hella has no Hell for you to go to. Is all well? Aside from shedding the uh, immortal coil, of course. Not harried in any way, a little hunted perchance? We were worried they would come, but it's been weeks and there is no sign. Perhaps they are but a myth after all. Aye, perhaps. Or perhaps they simply haven't noticed. Ah, damn you, Loki! You false-tongued whore-son! Shush. Any more and your cries will pierce the veil which keeps Doom blissfully ignorant of our presence. I'll free you if this little experiment proves false. Ah, it appears, brothers, you are out of luck. They're real after all. You haven't eaten for boar knows how many thousand years, my sisters. You must be famished. Please, be my guest. Do not let it be said that Loki's house does not provide a generous table. Ah, no, Loki, we serve Yes, you did. And now you serve me in death. What do you wish of the disease? Mainly to see whether you existed or not. That you do. Well, where to start? It's been a long, long while since you dallied with one from Asgard's halls. Before my time, before that of Odin, when my grandfather was a young man. As the Valkyrie were to Odin, you were to Bor. But in your unnatural hunger, you broke ancient laws. Bor found you, the carrion women with your jaws still wet and juicy with God's stuff. He found you and cursed you, banished you. You would only be able to feed upon the wandering spirits of gods. So for your gastronomic sin, you would be forever hungry. Because how would any god's spirit not be in either Asgard or Hell? Am I right? Is that how it goes? The Desir know the truth. We will not share details with one so young. We repeat ourselves but once. What is it you mean? Why to gain your service? The only thing you have of that beautiful red which lies within your chest. There is nothing you can offer us. Perhaps you misunderstand. What Loki would call servants, other gods would more call slaves.
No. You may try. You have no idea what I am. No one does. No. Victory is a small thing. Thor wins. I want more than that. You will be bound by oaths as strong as those to bore. You may no sooner disobey me than eat that which you must not, my brides. And I will soon have a use for you. Asgard is under siege. There are casualties already. By the end of the day, there will be a heavy toll. I trust you have made arrangements for the Fallen? What arrangements could I make? I am Hela without a hell. I leave them to wander Midgard until that is no longer true. What of the Desir? That would be a feast for the long famished ones. The Desir are myths. I fear you are in need of a hell. What boon could one who delivered it to you request? Whatever one wish. All the power of Asgard curdled with thousands of years of business. It is a rare blade that can even touch them. Totally loyal, capable of magical acts, from curses to shapeshifting. Ah, oh, the forms they take when the hunger frenzy is upon them. Quite the thing to see. Not that they actually need to take them. Of the wondrous creatures, I have a dozen and one in my service. Just one slice one of the finest demons in your legion into ribbons. You can't tell me you're not impressed, Mephisto. It is not in my nature to be impressed, but it is in my nature to be covetous, and lustful for that matter. You have a deal in mind? State your terms. A dear acquaintance of mine requires little room to stretch out. Deed her a slice of your hell for a thousand and one years, and I'll hand you their leash for a hundred and one days. This is a game, is it not? It's always a game. You of all creatures know this. Very well. We are masters at this. Contracts, magical and binding. The print will be fine indeed. I will not fare lower in any such deal. Though I admit, the main reason I will make my mark with you and Hela is to see where it leads. You are most generous. Generosity is not a thing to be praised here, as you know. And if I took it as the insult it was, you'd score a point. Cease, Loki. This fellow player merely wishes to help a fellow artiste prepare his stage. You know what I call that? A task not yet complete. A bragging break, Loki. Hella comes. Is the deal struck? I've managed to come to an arrangement with not good Mephisto. The hour is urgent, so your marks. My pleasure. From this day, for a thousand and one years, the land of Mephisto, from the peninsula of Perfidy to the galley of Hubris, will be for Hela to govern, and a kingdom entire and of itself. Split! Hela? It is done. So our arrangement stands? Yes. When you make your mark, Loki, you will be stricken from the books of hell. You will be hell-bound no more. Wonderful. With the prophesied end times of Ragnarok past, and Asgardian's only destiny is a place in my halls. A destiny you no longer share. I must away. I have eternity to attend to. Well done. But I have to ask you, is absolute freedom worth that much? This much risk. You of all beings should know, freedom is the only thing worth anything. Quite. And well played. You created a peril and sold her a solution. Which also begs a question. Why not sell her the solution direct? The Desir are yours. You could have prevented what she feared yourself. 
and stopped them from ravaging the dead, prevented the lamenting when all discover the fallen souls had not gone to Hella's halls but the bellies of long past monsters, missed the sight of Mistress Hella scurrying like a schoolgirl. Where would be the amusement in that? All this effort to escape all predestination. And still you turn to mischief. <laughs> no. Mischief is a small thing, a toy I've used well and discarded. This isn't mischief. This is mayhem. Just watch.